Back to the center now. Down she goes. North Melbourne looking good for the 1977 Grand Finals. It comes to Thompson. Very tight. Back to Tanner. And North Melbourne swinging to attack. There's Manasseh battling his heart out for Conley as he takes the ball to the half back line. Shoots it down towards center half forward. And once again, we see little Cable in the way. The 34 year old veteran from West Australia. Really come to light in this quarter, too. He's had a, quite a few kicks and been a damaging player. Out it goes. Now to Henshaw, and he's got the mark there up towards the wing position. The hand pass coming out again. Oh, golly, they're going in hard still as Montgomery was just about up ended. Little Shaw picks it up on the boundary line. It's out of bounds. And we've played 31 minutes of this uh, last quarter. And North Melbourne in the box seat at the moment. To wait now for the ball to come back into play. Thompson, a ball pushed out now as we see McCann trying to get out. Picked up by Rene Kink. And it's finally Bill Pickin driving it well down towards that half forward line. The pack fly. Moore try, got his hands. So he's got the mark. And he's only about uh, 45 metres out. He's already kicked five goals. This fellow's done a tremendous job for Collingwood. He's had about three players going, going with him for the ball all the time. And there he goes now. Moore fires. And what's the result? No, I think he's put it through for one point. So Collingwood go to 19-10. For North Melbourne, 20 goals, 24. So there's a difference of 20 points in favour of North approaching the 32-minute mark. And the siren is ready to sound and announce North Melbourne the 1977 Grand Final winners. And, uh, of course, they put up a tremendous performance to win five games to win this 1977 Grand Final. There's that it about it now. North Melbourne coasting in as we wait for Henshaw to take that ball away from the back pocket business. Now it goes wide. Down it comes to... to uh, North Melbourne again, out towards Tanner on that wing position, he's streaking away. There's a chance now for North to drive it deep into attack, a short pass. And it's OK, Brightus again, a hand pass coming out to his skipper, David Jenks. Back to Brightus, an open goal, he'll fire. And he's put it through. And that's made a heck of a difference. 26 points the difference at the 32-minute mark in favour of North Melbourne. And they can start drinking champagne now, now because there's no worries. All the North Melbourne supporters are smiling their heads off because they've got it wrapped up for the 1977 season. Well, That's five goals to Brighters. North Melbourne, prior to this year, when they won the flag in 1975, the only club, this case Ron Brassy, the only club ever to win the grand final, to win the flag from third position. That's where they finished again this year, and they've pulled it off again. Incidentally, Pete, that's a mammoth score by both these sides. They've kicked, what, uh, 40 goals between the two of them, 100, uh, 274 points. Well, as the crowd around Barassi, the photographers wait for Barassi to run out there and be hugged by all these players because it's a foregone conclusion, I'd say. After this bounce, the siren should sound. Wait, we go. Up she goes now. Knocked out by Thompson. Still not giving in. As Collingwood are trying to get the ball further forward, but it's a hopeless task now, and a free kick will go to Wayne Richardson at centre field. Possibly playing his last game for Collingwood. Been a great player, over 200 games. Ex-captain as he gets the ball out there to Betts, but uh, Betts is clear, drives the ball up towards the full forward zone. The North Melbourne defenders are packing there. Little Bond trying his heart out, but he's upended. The North Melbourne defence too strong at the moment. Henshaw streaking away at the 33-minute mark, and things looking pretty sick as we see the ball go out the dents. They give a hand pass. Now he's going to break clear. Hand pass over to Brightus. It bounces right. He's already kicked five goals, going for his sixth, but it's across the front of goals. At the back is Baker. And that's really sealed the doom. He's got the mark. Only about 12 metres out from goal dead in front. And look at the North Melbourne crowd. They must be as happy as Larry. Well, Ron Brassi, look at the anguish in that face. He, he knows he's won the flag, but he still can't believe it until that siren sounds. And Baker's missed, but it makes no difference. Phil Baker says, I don't believe it. But as I mentioned, it makes no difference because 34 minutes have just ticked over. There's a very desolate scene with Tom Hafey and Ronnie Richards, the assistant coach of Collingwood. A very lonely scene there. But Barassi on the boundary line, the look on his face, 35 minutes now. There's Barassi. He's waiting for that siren because until that siren sounds, he won't believe he's won the flag. 151 to 124, North Melbourne have done it twice, twice in the history of VFL football. The only two times it's been done to come from third place on the VFL ladder after home and away season.